Hello again, friends, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends. Before you maximize your, your video or tab away to a different window, if you could just real quick drop a like on the video, it would be super helpful and I will be eternally grateful. Now, last time we we quelled the, the Arcanine and promptly came back here for our rewards and... Now we are being set off to do the same thing to an electrode, I think. Is that the right word? That might be the right Pokemon. Um, so we're off to Coronet Highlands, and people don't really want us there. But we're going anyways. Oh, we are mighty close to that rift. We might be able to just walk right up and touch it. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock-type and ground-type Pokémon about these parts. Craggy, boulder, and strewn heights. And up there, right beneath that great rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Coronet itself. The magnetism from it may as well exert some sort of may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokémon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. All right. Free apricorns. I mean, after we, after we fight an evolved wormy, maybe just maybe it lives through this. But I doubt it. Hey, we lived. But a regular pokeball would be fine, hopefully. Perfect. Perfect! That's a new Pokemon right there. And the Kingsley from it, that's kinda cool. I was told we'd be finding rock and ground type Pokemon here. The fact that we're finding Luxios over there. I have been lied to, they cannot exist in this area. I'm not sure if we've actually caught one of these guys before either. Come and catch one now though. Hopefully. He's in a regular Pokeball here. Beautiful. Hardy grains. I don't want hardy grains. Just taking up space in my inventory. Rapidash is gonna get a workout, I tell ya. Wait, wait, wait. Iron Bark Tongue? Just pick that up off trees? Off of a bunch of trees, apparently. They're everywhere. Let's fall off this cliff, no big deal. Is that how we get back up over there? Looks like it. Hold on, I'll join you in a second, guy. Need my iron. All right, what are we doing here? The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall, but its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're gonna face it, 
You might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot. Oh my god. So true. It's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Oh, it's Melly. I was thinking it was going to be the uh, Bandit Sisters. Well, well. Ward and Ingo of the Pearl Clan. And oh my, the Galaxy Team grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the Great Electrode, Lord of the Hollow. But, by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The greatest obstacle that you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me, if you dare. Absolutely not. Wait, 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 what? Why am I not going to fight you? Hmm. Well then, let me tell you the great Melly's take on the whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of the almighty Sinnoh's favor and protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell out that that's a good thing? We must let my lord's my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as as is right and good. This may even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the Galaxy teams anyway? If Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours, rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. Mic drop, walk away. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies cause the Pokémon themselves such suffering. But what is it you want to do, Seed? Uh, we're pressing on. I wanted to fight her. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, Seed, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokémon like Golbat and their elk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. We got... we got... we got Golbat in here. That's not terrifying at all. This dude really needs some new duds. Well, this is odd. The torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route. I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. Got like a reverse escort mission going on? I recall faintly that I had a partner once. A precious one. Its name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way, luring us onward. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha crowbat to our right. Under normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would have struck someone so competent as you. But given our poor visibility, I propose a track change in the interest of safety. Please follow me. I would like to fight it. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. Oh, I missed it, sorry. The words, I like winning more than anything else, flashed through my mind just now. We'll soon be arriving at Wayward Cave's exit. Even if the memories themselves have faded, it appears much still lives on in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be? Yup. It's them. Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. Beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. 
Oh, we're not gonna hang out anymore? Am I really that unpleasant to be around? Should we should we go back to that alpha crowbat? That little dragon behind him. I can never remember what they're called. But, but I want it. They're adorable. Especially after they get older. Where they turn from adorable to terrifying. He gets to bite twice? I do not approve. Do not approve. Yeah, I know you're mad. I know. Oh, what's strong against poison? Apparently Onyx. Um, do we, do we hit it with something like this? I mean, it's got... Oh, ha, ha, my bad. My bad, wrong attack. Ooh, okay, this is not great. Not great. Great balls it is for a little bit, huh? Oh, yep, more enraged. More, more angry. Oh no, we're poisoned. Please just stay in the ball, Goldnet. Please just stay in the ball. Thank you. Okay, so with Goldblads, you have to ask them nicely. I'm used to trying to be assertive with these things, but... Let's let's heal up. Let's heal up the onyx. The gibble. The gibble. Oh, he's got like no health. Not very effective. Let's try Rock Slide. Oh, he avoided. Perfect. That's, that's exactly what I wanted. How about... How about we take a different approach? Let's use Stealth Rock. And now we can focus on throwing out Pokeballs. He's only level 20. Shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? Should be simple to catch. I feel like dragons are inherently more difficult to catch, though. He caught us a gibble. And we might need to heal up our onyx again. considering he's exactly one super potion away from being full health. I don't want to fight you, Golbat. I don't want to fight. Who's good? Who's good? Is Carnivore good? Carnivore's probably good. Um, yeah, a confusion should work just fine. Just fine. Wow, that is... We are in catchable range. Ow. We are gonna have all of the gold bats. 
whole, a whole murder of them. So I need, I need to know. I need to know. Is there anything cool out here? Uh, just an angry Pokemon. And some iron. And that Crobat. Do we do it? I think we do it. I think we do it. We're mostly healthy. Mostly healthy. Ow! As I say that. As I say that. Who are we leading with? Let's lead with Gardevoir. Whoa! Do we gotta give him like a... Oh, please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Oh, he's gonna turn around. Nailed it! This gives us two confusions. Hopefully. Last poison? Oh, okay. So he got to act twice. Which, uh, which gave him... Which gave him one of his two attacks, unfortunately. Looks like Thunder Fang should get us pretty close. Do we... Will he survive an attack? I think he survives an attack. I think he survives an attack. Oh, it didn't even matter. That is not very much health left. We're getting us a Crobat. We are getting us a Crobat. Not from that Great Ball. But we're getting it. Ow. Alright, who's who's next? Onyx. I think Onyx has this. Onyx is fine. Onyx is a good boy. Battle of a giant Pokemon. Now I mentioned in the last episode that I'm curious if their uh, if their size stays. Because that would be so cool. If we could find, like, an enraged onyx. Oh, yeah. In every Pokemon, like, if you just have a team of enraged Pokemon, just everything you send out is gigantic. It would be well worth the hunt, I think. Meanwhile, I'm over here with an actual zero enraged Pokemon on the team. Oh, thank you. You're getting getting mighty slim on Pokemon there. Um. Oh, will this Leaf Blade kill it? Leaf Blade will probably kill it, which is unfortunate. Well, we're gonna try it anyway. Yeah, that, that was no good. Do we need those? I don't know if we need these or not. Barboach? Yeah, we need them. Um, we'll try with the triple arrows instead. Okay. Even not super effective attacks just get us the kill. 
Decidueye is officially a monster. Oh, officially a monster. Alright, we're leaving. Hopefully, there's healing on the other side of this. So we don't have to blow all of our revives. Professor Lavenden told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisui, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokémon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry. We want whatever's in this. A bronzer. Oh, we're clearly gonna hit it with the triple arrow. Maybe it'll live. Oh, it lived. That's great. Yeah, pump your defense, buddy. It won't help you where you're going. Into the Pokeball. Beautiful. One more in the Pokedex. Blammo. Didn't even take damage from that fight. Sure is chilly with all this snow. You know, I probably don't need to grab these in it. Yeah, I guess we still do kind of need to grab them. Um, I was thinking like we don't need the stones. So maybe we don't need to grab them, but at the same time we really do need the iron chunks that fall out of them sometimes. Oh, you're gonna put me to sleep? Rude. And now you're dead. Do we fight that? Yeah, we're fighting it. We are fighting it. Turn around. Oh, he's already on me. Oh, that's not even the enraged one. Where'd the enraged one go? Did we walk past it? Oh, we sure did. Oh, uh oh. No! Uh, Eevee, sacrificial lamb. Oh no, I've got a gold bat on it too. Giga impact. What are we gonna do? Baby doll eyes it? I think baby doll eyes is a great idea. I'm not sure what strong style baby doll eyes does, but but that's probably a good idea. Oh dear lord. Rapidash, that is you. That is you. We are gonna need to see some of that fire. We... Oh yeah, it's bad news no matter what. I think we're just strong styling it. Hopefully it takes a good chunk. Sure did. I don't think we I don't think we have the the leisure of catching it right now. Pretty sure pretty sure if we don't just kill everything we lose. Oh, Decidueye's our last one. That's bad. 
That is doubly bad. Okay, cool. Alright, it was great doing business with you guys. Great, great doing business. Hey, you guys got any of them? You guys got any of them revives? What's the big idea putting all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokémon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you loves have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electro, you're solely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokémon. Uh, I don't want to fight yet. I literally- I have zero literal HP right now. Are you certain? It seems this is our only track forward. I can't. Okay, I'll, I'll beat him, but not yet. What, what, are, what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Go, Skuntank. Show these lots the true meaning of silent but deadly. Oh, that was a fart joke. That was a fart joke. Eevee healed? Or 1 HP? Basically 1 HP. Are we just gonna lose before we even get to... Yeah, cool. That was real fun, guys. Yeah, I didn't have any Pokémon that can battle before this started. Try again with a stronger team. Oh no! Everything, please leave me alone. I need to heal. Fine, fine. We'll use some revives. Oh! Well, that was... That's an interesting way to get a full HP... <laughs> full HP revive, huh? I'm ready. I'm ready, we're doing it again. I'm gonna bop your partner Pokemon. Cause somebody healed all my shit. Alright Eevee, try it again. I feel like it's only right that we let Eevee have a have a fair shot at this. Doesn't look like a fair shot anymore. Give him, give him the Swifty. The strong Swifty. What do we got? Half HP? Not, uh... Not gonna be enough. Who should we go with? Onyx? Onyx is a great idea. When in doubt, terrify them with a 25-foot rock snake. It is always super effective. Battle decided. Guess who had HP this time? We did. Listen here, neither I nor Skun Tank admits defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford Skun Tank some time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up. We'll be back. She is a sassy thing. Or a, or what a lively character. We're on the same page there, Ingo. Cannot fathom Warden Melly's intentions. But for now, let us press on. She's shady. Gonna go ahead and dodge that poison. Where are we going now? Not to that iron chunk, unfortunately. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokémon. 
Ah, there you are, Ingo. Volo, was it? What's the matter, sir? I wanted to ask you about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to Seed, I think, if it's to do with the, that rift. Indeed. Well, I do hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. How about you then, Seed? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Uh, there was something. There was definitely something. I have it on, I have it on recording on YouTube. You can go check out the channel. Make sure to drop a like, maybe a follow. Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Uh, makes sense, I guess. Indeed, I did some digging and found records indicating that the same space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it, as it appeared, in fact. Now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it's Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why is the space-time rift reopened? And when it closed once so long ago? And why would Seed have fallen through it to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it will ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of ruins and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that task to Seed. Until next time, then. Once we're through here, then it'll be just a short little bit further. But let us move with speed, but not haste. Speed, but not haste. So, how, how, how are you going to do me like that? I don't want to, I don't want to fight two of them. Oh, I'll fight that bronzer though. Please just let me keep hiding. Oh no. This is all bad. No, none of this is good news. Alright, alright. We're hitting it with the arrows. That's such a cool attack, the triple arrows. Oh, if we get to use it again. Please don't be sleepy. Yeah. On the contrary, we got a critical hit. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take a hair across. Um, we might accidentally kill him. But we're gonna we're gonna try this anyways. There we go. Perfect. Showing the greatest balls in the land. Crafted by yours truly. Ursa ring. I feel like we should catch it. I feel like we should catch it. Turn around, buddy. Or not. You can just sit there. That's fine. That's fine. I'll do all the work. Get in the mall. Okay. That did not work. he not see me? Oh, we're gonna get him. 
We're gonna get him. Oh no, that wasn't a Pokeball. That already had a Pokemon in it. Can't catch very well with that. Um, I don't want to kill it. I do want to catch him. That's not bad. It's about, about one third health. It's a good number. That's a good amount. At least I thought it was. Youch! Imagine getting slashed by those big old bear claws. This dude believes in his Second Amendment. Oh, come on. Come on. Sidjuai needs a heal. Needs a heal. Probably don't need to catch another one. I think we can just... I think we can safely just murder it, right? Oh. I thought that would do more. Well, so long as you're here. It'd be great if you could get in that ball. I feel like if the Pokeball, the, uh, the beam that shoots out of it goes right into his tummy. I think it's a target. Right into his tummy. It's like we're trying to tickle him. Pokeball tickle technique. Super effective. Oh, did he really see me? Good. Good. I'm just trying to live my life. Um, I feel like that's good XP for us. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and eat this XP. Why not bulldoze? Grab some medicinal leaks, medicinal leaks. I feel like they're uh Hey, we get a camp finally. Finally. Finally we get a camp. We'll get a camp in a second, we got iron. Way more important. Man, we have been running around with a potion and a prayer for a long time. What do you got for me, bud? How are we, how are we setting this up? You're part of Galaxy Team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard you were all planning to set up a camp. But it seems not much progress has been made. That bronzer was getting in the way. It's not belligerent, but it seems like it wants something. We can't just ignore it either. It wants to be my slave. Please, do you think you can find out what it is Bronzer wants? Uh, I guess we can, but we'll have to do it in the next video. It has been a ton of fun, guys. This adventure with, uh... The scraggly pants over there has, has been it's been something else. And we and we're we've got our weird contestant going on with the sassy pants Melly. This has been a weird a weird shift in this game. Anyways guys, super appreciate you all coming with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Please take care. I will see you soon.